wonder if you can use different gel brands for your gel X? In today's video, I'll break it down and I'll show you how it's done with Japanese gel brand Cocos. If you don't already know, Opres are the creators of Gel X and the gels they use to share their full coverage tips are soft gels. Now, Cocos has four types of gels that I feel you can definitely use with your full cover tips. Here I have the four, but I will only be using two in this video. And I'll show you why I would recommend these two over the other two. I'm starting off with Mega Stick. It is a soft gel, so it's going to be giving you more flexibility. It does say it's a base gel, but because of its soft gel feature, you can definitely use it for extensions. Mega Stick's viscosity is on the thinner side, so if you're a novice, I would say that you might need a little bit more practice with this gel. Starting with the application, I'm brushing a little bit of gel on my natural nail, and then I'm going to go in with more gel on the full cover tip. This ensures that when both gel meets in the middle, you have enough gel covering the tip and it's not spilling out. Flash cure that and this is how it's looking. Onto my ring finger. So with my ring finger, I have more of an arch. So I like to just bend the nail a bit so that it can fit properly. When I was doing my ring finger, I noticed that once the gels met together, there was too much gel. So because my thumb was covering it, I like to clean up the gel before a flash cure. This makes it look nice and clean without having excess gels underneath. You'll notice that I left a small little gap and I'll fill that in with base coat to bring the look together. Next up, I'm using Jellip Bon Mochi. This will be the first time I'm using this product, so let's see how well it works. The first thing I notice about this product is that it feels like their boba gel, but stickier. It definitely is a very thick gel, so I think this will be really good if you aren't confident in putting on your full nail tips. This will give you more time to try and adjust before you flash cure. Instead of a brush, I'm going in with my spatula just so I can scoop up the gel. You'll see that I did the same step as I did using Mega Stick. With this product, the only hard part is that if you don't scoop enough gels, you need to scrape up the gel and redo it again. I noticed that when I did that, I feel like I lost more gel than what I put on. So I had to put more gel on to make sure that it covers the nail tip. Of course, this time around, I put too much gel. So I had to do a little bit of cleaning. With it having more excess gel, I feel like this gel is harder to clean versus the Mega Stick. With the underside, I ended up just tucking the gel back a little bit to make it look clean. But overall, I think this product is actually really great for those who are just trying to learn how to do gel X or full cover nail tip. But this gel is definitely a learning curve for sure, but I do enjoy using this gel. As I mentioned before, I would recommend these two gel because they're soft gels, which means you'll get more flexibility when it comes to wear. They're also an easy soak off so you won't be spending ages trying to take them off. However, if you're someone who's really hard on your nails or works with your hands a lot, these might not be the best option for you. I mentioned that Cocos has two other gels that you could possibly use with your gel X or full coverage tip. One is Excel Builder Gel. Just like the name, it is a builder gel. It can be used to build medium to long nail extensions. It has a true medium viscosity and it is a semi-hard gel. The other one is Platinum Bond Duo. Now this is a two-in-one base builder gel. It is a medium viscosity. It's good for building short to medium length nail extension and it's also a semi 
my hard gel with these two gels the main reason why i wouldn't recommend using these for your gel legs or full cover tips is because of its semi hard finish we all should know by now that gel legs or full cover nail tip is known for its easy soak off system with that being said it doesn't mean that you can't use these two products and they are great if you are looking to add strength and if you're not looking to take them off every so often then they are great for rebalancing your gel x all right there you have it my breakdown of four cocoas gels and how to use two of them i hope this gave you a better understanding of how these gels can really enhance your gel x wear if you found this helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more tips and tutorials thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.